Hey, what's going on guys? It is all about RSPS here today and welcome to OS Rock. Now, OS Rock is a server like a blast from the past, man. Uh, the server is, a, first of all, it's based off the old servers that we used to play back in the day around the 2014 era. So you don't have all these OSRS items, stuff like that, the old school fire cape, um, like all the old style on here. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. There's a whole bunch of stuff that'll just bring back those memories from the old school RSPSs, man. So this server is a, a very heavy economy server. So you're not gonna be, you know, getting the best gear in the game right off the bat, nothing like that. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I have checked it out quite a bit. I can say that uh, the admins on the server, they can't go in and just spawn items, nothing like that. So even the admins are actually playing the game. Uh, nothing in the server is really worthless. If you get rune items and you want to alk them, that's still going to be good money. So the first thing we're going to want to do as soon as you join the uh, server is type colon colon starter, just like this, and you'll receive your starter uh, items. You do get 1.5 mil cash, which is a lot. Uh, if we open up this strange box, all right, well, we didn't get lucky on our starter. Uh, we got a banana, but eh, it's delicious. <laughs> so this is the home area where you start. You're going to have the vote shop right here. Uh, you know, we already took a look at this, but some really cool items in here, including membership. So from voting, you can actually earn membership. You do not have to pay for it. Uh, not a pay to win server whatsoever. The only item inside of the uh, donator store actually is that membership scroll. So you're, you're not gonna have somebody walk in with $300 and now he runs the game, <laughs> which I think is really awesome. Um, the area right here at home is for thieving. So you've got your different stalls here, your different NPCs, uh, you got your man that you can pickpocket, your guards that you can pickpocket, really awesome. You have your altars here, change your spell book, and recharge your prayer, and the financial advisor who will sell you one bill tickets. There are also some portals around home, the essence mining for rune crafting. We have the slayer portal, which will take us directly to the slayer tower. Farther south, we have the uh, Barrows teleport, as well as the Mysterious Old Man. In order to do Barrows, you have to complete a little quest here. So if we check a look here, you have to get 100 Dragon Kills and a green cash stack. Uh, after you do that, you will unlock Barrows. We will take a look at that here in a little bit. But let's keep taking a look at the home. There is the Vote Ticket Portal. This will teleport you to a special zone, but you need 12 vote tickets in order to enter here. The actual room crafting teleport, which takes you to this area where all the altars are, so you do not have to run 800 miles in order to train room crafting. There is the training teleport, which will take you to any of these training locations. And we have the member portal, which will take you to the member zone. Now just about every single uh, store you could think of uh, any items that you want to buy is going to be, you know, located inside of this castle, just about everything. The one that you have to look out for is type skilling and click on mines. If you want to buy a skill cape, uh, you have to take this teleport and run east a little bit. And you have two NPCs. The wise old man has most of them. And if you talk to this shopkeeper right here, he has the others. Taking a look at those teleports, we have the home teleport. Now, the Slayer Tower teleport takes us straight to the Slayer Tower, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Yano has uh, the mini bosses over there, so we can take a look at that eventually. Not in this video, though. If we click on bosses, uh, currently there's Bandos, uh, DKs, KBD, and Chaos Elemental. You also have your skilling areas, which we took a look at earlier. Uh, mini games, we have Jad, Fun PK, and Pest Control. There are training areas on here, which you saw the teleport at home does the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Slayer Tower and how it works. The way that you train Slayer on here is a lot more fun than your traditional Slayer. So in the Slayer Tower, there are the different floors with the different NPCs. And what you do is you just kill them uh, and you will receive Slayer XP. You don't have to be on the task. And the higher your Slayer level is, 
the more monsters you'll be able to kill. And a lot of these monsters drop really good items. So uh, untradables, for instance, your fighter torso, you can get that from gargoyles. So Slayer is a very good skill, and you don't just have to kill some random NPC that you don't want to. Even these crawling hands will drop rune items, so you're still going to make money no matter what NPC you kill in here. Very awesome. Next up, I want to go over farming. So click on this teleport to other castle teleport that we had in here. And uh, there's an Ardoin teleport in here. A couple interesting things back there, some banks in here. But we want to run outside of the castle and then run south just a little bit. First NPC to trade will be Jatix. Trade him to get these uh, farming items. And then the farming shops NPC down here. And uh, he will sell you your different seeds, everything like that. Uh, even these, one cage just for a Guam seed. If we look at Torstal, they're 30k each. So still an expensive skill. Come right over here next to this bank chest and all you do is click on the herb patch and it will start raking them. Then click on the Guam seeds and use it on the herb patch and everything is fully automated from here. Uh, you need at least four seeds to plant uh, any herb that you put in here in order to train the skill and you will fully grow them all the way and automatically pick them. Right here, now we have uh, the clean Guams with us. You get four because you planted four, so you're gonna get four of each herb every time. Pretty cool. Another decent money maker I've seen so far is the Mage Bank teleport over here. If you click on that and then pull this lever, take you right outside. This is where a lot of the PKing will be done. And they also have the Mage Bank NPCs in here that you can kill, make some decent profit in there as well. The NPCs outside of home can drop Ranger Boots and the giant Molen Falador will drop Dragon Boots. Now the way that the Barrows minigame works on this server, uh, after you've completed that mini quest and you have access, you come down here and kill the different Barrows brothers. Uh, while you're killing them, you have chances to get these keys. I have 10 Barrows chest keys here. Um, after I open them, I'll be giving them to, uh, you know, Admin Mickey. He's going to destroy the items. They're not entering the economy. Don't worry about it. It's just a show off. So, all right, so we open it up. Uh, ashes and some earth runes this time uh, some more ashes I'm just hoping that we can get you know because this will be 10 keys hopefully we can get ourselves Ooh, we got bolt racks let's see if we can get an actual armor piece oh it's not looking good for us so far come on last one last one give me a piece for the video come on ah oh, man um, but yeah so as you kill them you do have the chance for them they're not super common you know you're not gonna finish a dark set and you know uh, an hour's worth of barrows, nothing like that, um, which makes it all that much more of a grind. Like I said, uh, this guy, Admin Mickey, he's been playing for over a week now uh, with them, and you know he doesn't even have tank legs, so it's it's a good grind and a real fun server. As you can see, OS Rock is a pretty small server, but that's exactly what they're going for. They don't ever want to hit you know two, three hundred players. Uh, they like having a small community that plays and you know competes with each other and has fun. Uh, it's a really, really awesome server. I think you guys should all check it out. I will leave a link to their Discord as well as their forums down below as always. And this has been all about RSPS, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.